Did you know you could promote your posts in email marketing campaigns? That's right. You can create email campaigns that can highlight your most trending and important posts. You can convert more leads and drive more traffic to your website if you promote your posts in email campaigns. Today, I'll talk about three different strategies how you can promote different type of posts in your email campaigns. So let's explore those possibilities and get started. One effective way of promoting your posts is by featuring your recent posts in your email campaign. Let's say you publish a few articles, then you know that it will be some time before you get some traffic to them, right? But what if you could get instant traffic and that also from your targeted audience? That's exactly what promoting your recent posts in your email campaigns will do for you. So let's have a look at how you can do that in Mailment. As you can see, I have created an email for featuring my recent post in this campaign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this post block between these two text blocks that I have created. So once I do that, by default, the recent posts title is uh, set up here. I'm going to click on the drop down here in filter and select recent posts. So once I do that, you can see that three recent posts that I have created here on my website have appeared here. What you can do is you can also change the post quantity. Default number is three. You can change it by two or by one, or you can also increase the recent post here as well. So I'm going to keep it in three and you can see that I can also change the background color according to the color that I have set up here previously. You can change this and you can also change the default font size, font weight, post content, however you want. Now you can promote specific posts in your email campaigns very easily. Let's say you sell digital products and recently you've launched a new feature. But how can you promote it in email campaigns? What you can do is write an email that says what the feature is and mention some benefits. But you don't have to write the entire feature there. What you can do is write an announcement post on your website and then promote that post in your email. And once you highlight it, your users will be intrigued to go inside the announcement post and they will be um, interested in knowing what the feature is and how it works. And that's how you can uh, promote a specific announcement post in your email and you can easily drive traffic to it. And you know that promotional posts usually don't get as rank in the search engines as the other blog articles do. So this technique will specially help you to promoting those announcement posts. And I'm going to show you how it's done in MailMint right now. Now you can see that I have prepared an email for the similar example that I have given you just now. So during the MailMint launch, we also released a feature which was WP Funnels and MailMint's deep integration, right? So specifically for that, we have sent an email. Here in this example, I have also created an announcement post for that. And what I'm going to do is add that announcement post and highlight it in this email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop the post block under the first section. And in this section, I'm going to highlight that specific announcement post for the funnels and mailmint integration. So what I'm going to do is select specific post and I'm going to change the title to check this out. And then what I'm going to do is select the post from this drop down. Let's say funnels and this is basically. So this is the announcement post that I am going to promote in this specific email. So now you can update the email however you want. In this email, what I did was I just told my users what the integration is and there are some key benefits that the users will get. But I did not say everything in this email. I did not cover everything. What I did was I just linked this post into this specific email and when my users are going to read it, uh, they're going to be in 
treat to go into that specific post and read what this integration is all about. And this is exactly how you can utilize the specific post feature in your email campaigns. This is another way of promoting your posts that fall into different categories. Now, let's say in your website, you have posts about tech related subjects and you also have posts about uh, beauty related subject. What you can do is people who are more interested in tech, you can send emails that highlight only tech related blogs and that fall into the tech related category and send email campaigns to those people. And on the other hand, what you can do is send the beauty related blogs to the specific people who are more interested in reading beauty uh, blogs, right? So this is how you can utilize this and I'm going to show you how it's done in MailMint right away. So here is a basic example of how I can promote my categorical posts in my email campaigns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the post and drag and drop it after the first text. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the filter as post by category and you can see that it's selected by default. So I'm not going to change this. Now I'm going to change the title. So what I can write is check out these posts from sales funnel category as I am going to show the posts as sales funnel posts that are available on my uh, blog section. So what I'm going to do is select the category as sales funnel. And as you can see, only the posts that fall in under the sales funnel category are shown here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background color. And that's about it. And let me show you how you can change the category also. So let's say some people are only reading the sales funnel category blogs, right? If you want to uh, promote some other type of blogs to them as well, what you can do is you can simply change the category as a different category and you'll see that the blogs change. What you have to do is you can simply change the title and it will be simply ready to be sent to those users. You can also send this campaign to those specific users who only read email marketing category blogs. So this is how you can update and change your email campaigns uh, based on how you want to send your emails to different types of users, right? So that's about it for this section. And there you have it. These were some fresh tips to boost your email promotional campaigns using blog posts and articles. If you want to share some insights about it, feel free to comment below. I'll see you in my next video.